Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. This is my son Ben and today we have a wonderful bottle here on our cask. The Beaumore 25 years of age. This is quite a rare bottle. It's not always available. It's really expensive. 270, close mm -hmm. to 300 in most parts of the world. And yeah, there have been some changes made uh, to the design. Here you have a metal uh, badge fitted and, and the label is now Ooh. light again. The former one had been darker, I think. Oh, this is this comes from the vault number one. one. This is one this of the is, very um, rare. Yeah, one of the the things at Beaumont. When you look at the pictures of Beaumont from the sea, then you have the the iconic written Beaumont on the warehouse, and that warehouse is the vault number one, and that warehouse is actually uh, with tide. It's below sea level, so there is a bit of a saltiness uh, on the wall. I wouldn't be that sure that this is directly from vault number one. On the label they say, home of the number one vaults, the world's oldest uh, maturation <laughs> warehouse. <laughs> oh yeah, you have to always <laughs> read very carefully. carefully every yeah. single word. So this is 25 years old of a distillery founded in 1779. 43% ABV, the old ABV as it was, and sherry cask matured smokiness in it. And they really say here, Beaumont should be savored slowly. Slowly. No shots. Yeah, for every year in the cask, you should have it one second in your mouth. This Which is, is the old pretty saying. long for a 25 year old. <laughs> I heard that the first time uh, from the old distillery manager of Beaumont, Jim McGeon. He said that mm -hmm. uh, on a fair in Bordeaux in 2003, something there I, or 2000, 2000 was 2000, there I heard the saying, but having a uh, an alcoholic beverage with a high ABV of 43, 25 seconds on your tongue. How, so how much, how much ABV paralyzed. does it have? 43. 43. Oh, 43 is, is manageable. Uh, but it will tear the water out of your tongue. So this might be the last one, and it is today the last one for us. Mm -hmm. How much smokiness? Oh, medium too, much, too strong. Huh? Medium, I would say. Too strong? So it's it's not weak, I would, I would characterize it. And it's a, a full cherry cask maturation. No yeah. bourbon cask in it. Mm -hmm. But I think they will have... Uh, refill cherry casks in mm -hmm. the mixture as well. But that means that you will have uh, old oak. So 25 years is 1995. So there had been quite a move from the European oak casks to the American white oak cherry casks. So I don't know how or which wood uh, is used for that one. We will see very soon. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Is there a word? Good nose? Happy nose? <laughs> Happy nose. <laughs> <laughs> so, the smoke is there, but not the dominant flavor. Mm -hmm. It takes a little bit to get upon that. The sherry and the fruitiness is first. And if I have to, to say, or to give a a number of figure of the uh, PPM still there because in a fresh Beaumont you typically have 35 PPM and with the age the oxidization of the aromas the phenols uh, is moving forward and uh, the less smoky the whiskey becomes so this is 25 years from 35 PPM so I would say first guess is 20 20. My first guess would have been 30. <laughs> I still think it's it's pretty smoky. Ah, so if you put your nose deeper in. Yeah. So I have been further away. So it's but it's a, a nice balance between that um, mature sherry, uh, a nice settled smokiness, a mixture between a, 
a burned out bonfire and a bit of a ham note. Yeah, and, the longer uh, I smell, the more it becomes. It's yeah. grapey and uh, uh, I don't know what that is. Figs, raisins, I don't know. T typically darker fruits. Darker yeah. fruits, definitely dark fruits. This is the, the major mm -hmm. char char characterization. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's a, a really good one. Cheers. Cheers. Forty-three, just the right amount, so that the alcohol is not too strong, but the the juiciness, the oiliness, takes over, and then as soon as you swallow, the peatiness, the smoke kicks in, cleanses your mouth, uh, is on your tongue, uh, stays longer, and a little bit of hazelnut in the aftertaste. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, it's one of these wonderful, mature sherry whiskies. So it's very round with a lot of um, sherry flavor, isn't it? Mm. And a, a good mixture with uh, smoke. So I'm really puzzled of what is more intense, the, the sherry or the smoke. Yeah, the smoke just mm. is it's, not that strong. It's, it's pretty balanced, so that that's mm -hmm. that's a very good whiskey uh, in terms of of balance between the smokiness and the sherry. So when when we had the the forty year old, it was very far to the oak and sherry, but this one is 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 a good balance in between. So the second one is a lot better than the first one. Mm. There's oranges juiciness fruitiness and after that it builds up caramel oakiness and I would say not too many uh, European oak casks in it. It's not that bitter, it's not that strong, hefty in the aftertaste as a European oak would be. So this is a lot of American white oak sherry casks in it. So this is makes it a lot more gentle and friendly. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, and, and it's a, a relaxing whiskey. Yes, you do feel that it has a very strong character, but still you can you can enjoy it. Enjoy the the gentleness of the drum. Yeah. If yeah. you compare the, this one with the fifteen year old darkest mm -hmm. or the eighteen year old, what would you say? A lot more mature. Not more mature, but not that. Uh, intense and aggressive mm -hmm. on your tongue, a lot more gentle. The others are not aggressive per se, but yeah. uh, this one is just so mature and round that it just ha it's just on a much more uh, mm. much higher level. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's it's a very good drum. Mm -hmm. Very good drum. Mm. To finish the glass, yeah. <laughs> Don't spoil the drop. <laughs> Yeah. I like that one really much. Mm. Did we open that bottle ourselves or did the distributor gave it to us? No, that's ourselves. This is ourselves. This is ourselves. Okay. Okay. So yeah. close to 300. We have to decide <laughs> if what to, we do with if, it. <laughs> if to go, go for that. Um, probably a very good gift for a, a round birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 50s, 60s. 25th birthday. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Okay. Mine is coming. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, so yeah, if you'd like to know more about Boma, there's a lot written on whiskey.com about the distillery. You can find a lot more bottlings, all the old bottlings. Have a have a look at the whiskey database. There are all the old bottlings in there as well. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.